Mindset, a daily dose of practical wit and wisdom with a professional educator and trainer, Amazon best-selling author, United States Marine, television and radio host, Paul G. Markle. Each episode will focus on positive and productive ways to strengthen your mindset and help you improve your relationships, career goals, and overall well-being. Please welcome your host, Paul G. Markle. Welcome back to Morning Mindset. I am on the road deliberately and purposefully. I have my handy dandy Zoom recorder and I'm actually in a hotel room. It doesn't matter where the hotel room is. And if you follow me on social media, you probably already know. But I wanted to take a moment to address, well, some inspiration. Actually, uh, since I've been on the road, I've had I've been filling a notebook full of ideas. I've been inspired to come up with ideas for the Morning Mindset program. So uh, uh, today I was thinking about uh, something that happened to me a long, long time ago. Uh, when I was a younger man, let's say in my early 20s, I fell in love with a woman, or at least I thought I was in love with a woman, <laughs> and I purchased her a ring. Now... This wasn't an engagement ring. It was one of those colored stone, just, I don't know. I love you rings, but not an engagement ring. Now, bear with me. I, I don't, we were not close enough at the point where I should have asked her to marry me, but I got her this ring, right? And I presented it to her, and, and she liked it and was appreciative, and yada, yada. And things went on. But a few months later... She sent me the letter. Now, this is back when people used to write letters to each other with pens and paper and so forth. But she sent me that letter uh, detailing and explaining why we could no longer be boyfriend and girlfriend. She broke my heart. I know, you're sad for me, right? I get that. But here's the thing. I was a young Marine at the time. And uh, when you're a young Marine... And if you hear the ambulances, that's just part of me being in a city. But when you're a young Marine, you uh, you don't go into a jewelry store and give them, well, I don't know, whatever it was, a couple hundred dollars in cash. No, no. What you do is you set up, you get a little card, you get a credit card for the jewelry store. And they allow you to make really inexpensive monthly payments, right? So that's what I did. I bought her this ring and I got the little jewelry store credit card. And of course, we're talking back in the days when they used to actually mail you a bill. A paper bill came in the mail and you opened it up and then you took the envelope that came with it and you wrote out a check and you send it back to them every month. And what happened to me was I ended up <laughs> experiencing regret on the installment program. Because believe it or not, when uh, your girlfriend breaks up with you and doesn't want to be with you anymore, the jewelry company does not forgive your debt and say, oh, Sorry for your loss, and as a, you know, as a token of our appreciation or regret, we're going to have we're going to go ahead and scrub your account. No, so even though I didn't have the girlfriend anymore, and I didn't have the ring because she kept it, what I had was a monthly reminder. Every month in the mail, I would get a bill from the jewelers reminding me to send them. $18.99 or $22.99 or whatever it was back then. So I was experiencing regret via the installment program. You're like, well, Paul, this is, this is morning mindset. We're supposed to talk about positive and productive things, not about, not about experiencing regret. Well, A, I thought you would appreciate that personal story. <laughs> and B, I'm going to give you some advice. If you're a young man, out there in my listening audience and you want to purchase something nice for a uh, potential mate, for a girlfriend, for a woman that you think may someday become your wife, pay cash. <laughs> yes, indeed. Pay cash, gentlemen. 
if you can't afford it, don't buy it. If you cannot afford however much it is they're asking you for that, don't buy it. No, sir, because uh, you don't want to live your life like I did. You don't want to have regret on the installment program. And just as a quick aside, uh, when I was in the Marine Corps and I was living in a barracks with a bunch of other Marines who are merciless, I made the mistake of sharing my tale of woe with my friends. And uh, every month when I would get that bill, invariably one of the other Marines that I lived with would notice and they would laugh at me and rub it in my face and remind me about my mistake. Yes, indeed. (laughs) All right, these next few uh, morning mindsets are going to come to you from my hotel room on the road. I truly appreciate everyone who has uh, invested in the morning mindset book up to this point, whether it is the Kindle version or the paperback version. Those of you who have purchased it, those of you who have left a review, uh, thank you very much. Thank you also if you have left a review for the Morning Mindcast show morning mindset podcast maybe i should just change the name of the show to morning mindcast maybe that would be better i don't know no because then i would have to explain to people what a mindcast is and they think it would they would probably think it's like some kind of a a las vegas illusionist show or something maybe that's what i could do i could start a show in vegas an illusionist show and i could call it the mindcast hmm I don't know, maybe Chris Angel already has that one locked up. But either way, I am your host, Paul Markle. Thank you for being here, and I will talk to you again real soon. Thank you for spending time with us today. To get show notes, submit a topic request, and for more from your host, Paul D. Markle, visit morningmindsetpodcast.com. That's morningmindsetpodcast.com podcast.com. Please leave a review for this podcast on your favorite podcast player. We appreciate your time and effort and we look forward to reading your honest feedback.